Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Corrupt TV, your host DJ Corrupt is here, and tonight is another amazing show, man. Trust me, but don't take it from me. Watch it for yourself. Here it goes right now. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the world famous DJ Corrupt, live right here on DJ Corrupt TV, and I am sitting with the beautiful Natasha Mosley. Thank you, thank you very much. How have you been, sweetheart? Great. How about you? I've been good. I've been, I've been blessed, and um, I'm still blessed. So I'm glad to have you here tonight. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. So, Natasha Mosley started singing as a kid, right? Yes. What was it that brought you to singing, and how how you decided you wanted to elevate and sing? So, okay, like you said, I started singing in church, and then um, I don't know. I just got older. I started, you know, went to middle school and. Started, you know, seeing other kids, you know, being in sixth grade, seeing eighth graders and stuff. You want to start singing and talking about different things. You know what I'm saying? So, what was the first song? The first song that I wrote was about love. Like I knew what I was talking about <laughs> back then, but of course not. <laughs> but yeah, it's all about love because I, I don't know, I love love. What was love for you at that time? Like, what, what, was, what would you say love was? At that time, love for me was Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. Okay. What they singing about, what I'm trying to sing about. I'm trying to figure out what this love <laughs> thing is. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure it out too. Okay. So you did a lot of features, you know, Lil Wayne. You had a lot of features. Who was it that you have not worked with yet that you would like to, like a wish list? I have a wish list. You do? I definitely do. I want to hear it. So I love Tank. Tank. I really want to work with Tank. Okay. I love Neo. I love Brandy. I love Justin Timberlake. I love Beyonce. I love Christina Aguilera. Okay. I really want to work with Tamia. Tamia. Nice. Tamia. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. I might be able to hook you up with some of those. I might be able to help you out with that. Oh, don't tell me that now because I'm, I'm going to be calling you. <laughs> I probably can help you out with some of oh, those Oh, that'd wishes. be awesome. So, Natasha Mosley, I want to know, I want to go and take a break real quick, and then we want to come back and talk some more about Natasha Mosley. I'll be right back. DJ Corrupt TV, your host, DJ Corrupt here. But don't forget about the gnarly mixtape series. Don't forget about the love and music mixtape series. And don't forget about the Street Corner Radio mixtape series. DJ Corrupt does a lot. Right now, we are shining right here on DJ Corrupt TV, TST Network. We stay shining. Natasha, I know that there's been some challenges for you to get here. What were some of the biggest challenges that you had to face? Ooh, some of like the biggest challenges in my career? Yeah, absolutely. That's a hard question. That's a good question. That's a hard question too. <laughs> because like, I feel like everybody has like personal things that they go through mm -hmm. and it's hard to stay focused sometimes. And I think that that's one of the main things that I kind of struggle with okay. is staying focused and like really just staying focused and not being distracted because mm -hmm. it's so easy to get distracted. So what breaks your focus? Like what take what throws you off? Like just like family could throw me off mm -hmm. or like in, but in a good way or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying if family's going through something you know what I'm saying I'm I'm very family oriented mm -hmm. I care a lot about my family. Um, relationships. Mm -hmm. I've been in relationships sometimes where I cared more about the guy mm -hmm. than I did about, oh, well, I got to go to the studio mm -hmm. trying to worry about what he doing. So it interfered with your music? It interferes so, with music. Did we get some songs from one of those circumstances? Oh, of course. <laughs> Which we, got some, we got some great songs <laughs> from them circumstances because like, at a certain point, you got to just channel your energy into what makes you happy. And to, you know, like, some people, what do they do to, to, you know, get their anger out of them? They go play ball or they go do something. For me, I go mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. You know, that helps me get my emotions out and right. how I feel. So does some of that play into the songwriting for a Tit for Tat? Yes. Okay. And that's what we're going to perform tonight. We're going to perform Tit for Tat tonight. Okay. So explain Tit for Tat for me. So Tit for Tat is just... Tit for tat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of self-explanatory, but at the same time, it's like 
it's tit for tat. Mm -hmm. You did something or I'm finna do something back. Or you hurt me, I'm finna hurt you. Yeah, like tell me some of that. You know what I'm saying? Experience. You eat my cereal, my cereal, <laughs> my favorite cereal in the, in the last box, the last little bit in the cabinet. I'm gonna eat yours. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just, it's just kind of like that, even with text messaging, mm. FaceTime. I got you. All that. I got you. So we're going to perform Tit for Tat tonight, and the song is out. It's doing really well. And here it is. Natasha Moses in the building, y'all. Stay tuned. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. So happy to be here with Natasha Mosley. Amazing performance. Amazing uh, song. I like that. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> Tit for Tat. Petty dudes. So petty. So petty. <laughs> I'm sure it is times when you feel like you want to be petty, right? Yeah. I, it's, it's plenty of times where I feel like I want to be petty, but I literally have to make that decision with myself mm -hmm. if I'm going to be petty or right. not. Okay. So the last time you were, you feel like you were, you were being petty, explain that time to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what was I being petty about? Okay, we had gotten to argument okay this particular day i can admit that i was being petty i know i was being okay. petty and i made it i had made it up in my mind that i knew i was going to be petty because i was feeling some type of way i was probably like on my cycle and in my feelings and in my emotions uh -huh. and i just felt like you know you told me you was gonna call me when you got home it's been an hour how come you haven't called me yeah and you blew up you... and i blew up <laughs> but i knew i was gonna do that though okay. you know what i'm saying i had already made that decision with myself self so i'm mad mm -hmm. so i said okay what you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna act up. Forget about whatever the repercussions are, what, what he decides to do from that. You're just gonna be petty. I'm just gonna be petty. But he needs to be smart though. Uh-huh, uh-oh. He has to be smart <laughs> about that because when I'm petty and you decide to be petty with me, mm -mm. somebody gotta be the bigger person. Yeah, and somebody's gonna lose. Somebody has to be the bigger person right. when I decide to be petty because right. I already decided that that's not going to be me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody has to lose, and most times it's us, the guys. We lose. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then it, it makes me feel like, okay, he handled that situation really good. Uh -huh. I can do it. I can deal with him. Okay, so it's a test at times. It, yeah, and it, it is a test at times. Yeah, okay, you can say that. I'm testing you. Behave yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I never thought about it that way, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's women, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, tricky. But, but anyway, we talked a lot about music, and let's talk about, let's go outside of music for a moment. Okay. So who is Natasha Mosley when she's not in a creative space, and what, what, what do you do for fun outside of music? Um, so when I'm not in my creative space, I'm always in my creative space, okay. though. I'm always writing. As soon as somebody make me mad, I start writing. <laughs> As soon as somebody make me happy, I get rolling the blood. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to write about that. Okay. As soon as I take my nails off, I might try to get on my guitar or something. You know, I just, I'm just, I'm really girly. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you played the guitar. Well, I started playing the guitar a long time ago. And then I started getting real fancy, getting these long nails and stuff. And then I stopped playing. Mm -hmm. So now when I pick it up, I'll be like, dang, I act like I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm really trying to get back into that. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I have retired my nails to try to get back into that. It looks nice though. Thanks. Look nice. So tell me who is Natasha Mosley? How can we find her on social media? What, what does she have coming out? Tit for tat? How do we get into it? So all my social media, all my music is on all platforms. You can find me at Natasha Mosley on Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. YouTube, Snapchat. Everything, SoundCloud, Spotify, okay. iTunes, Apple Music, everything is all Natasha Mosley. And Tit for Tat is available right now. On all platforms. Go and get it, DJ Corrupt TV, and we love you, man. Thanks for coming through, Natasha. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs>